Hello everyone, it's Judy here and you welcome to Smart Boy Stories. In today's video, I have the Galaxy F3, which I will be opening up right now. And I'm going to set this up to work with my Android phone. The Galaxy F3 uh, succeeds the Galaxy F2, which is four years old. So four years after Samsung decided to release it's a successor to the Galaxy F2. The Galaxy F3 uh, doesn't work with iPhones. It will only work with Android phones running on Android 10.0 and above. So let me open this up. So guys, this is what the Galaxy F3 looks like. I mean, it looks uh, quiet, um, polished. And um, the strap here is silicon. I'm going to set this up to what we have here charger and what we have here is the paperwork okay so i'm going to go ahead and turn this on to turn this on i'm going to press and hold on the side button all right the device is up and to connect this to my android phone here you need the Galaxy wearable app. So go ahead and install the Galaxy wearable app from Google Play Store or from the Galaxy Store. Okay, if you use an Android, if you use a Samsung phone. All right, the device is up. I'm gonna tap on scan. And this should find the Galaxy F3. Okay, I'll tap on this. Okay, confirm the numbers are the same. So guys, um, this has been connected to my phone. It says um, it will now download the Galaxy F3 software. All right, guys. Um, the Galaxy F3 plugin has just finished downloading, and it says for your reviews, um, see permission for Galaxy Web Web and how they are used. Um, Samsung can use this agreement. I'm going to check this, and um, Galaxy Web privacy notice. I'm going to check this sending of diagnostic data i'm gonna also check this so go ahead and make your selections once you're done tap on more and tap on continue okay and it says allow glassy filtry plugin to manage your glassy filtry i'll tap on allow to locate your phone with the band you need to allow glassy variable to access your location okay i'm going to enable this Allow all the time. Okay, I'll just go back. Um, I'll tap on continue. Allow. Allow. Allow to access contacts. Allow. So go ahead and make your selections to send and view SMS messages. Allow to access photos. Allow. Okay. And that is it, guys. I have successfully paired the Galaxy F3 to my Android phone. Okay. That is how you can connect your Galaxy F3 to an Android phone. And like I said before, the Galaxy F3 will not work with iPhones. All right, um, we have um, keep your data safe, auto backup. I'm going to leave this off for now. Tap on next. Okay, set your wearing preference. Choose on which way. Okay, left. Yeah. Try your daily. Your band automatically tracks your activity, so you can. Okay, go ahead. Understand your sleep. These are the features of the Galaxy Fit Three. All right, guys, we have successfully connected the Galaxy F3 to my Android phone. I'm going to come back to the Galaxy Web. Well. So for now, um, let's take a quick tour. Start. Wow. Okay, swipe down to open the quick panel. Mm -hmm. Swipe up to go back to watch face, of course. And uh, find new apps. Okay, next. Swipe for app, swipe up, okay. From the bottom, okay. Swipe down to go back to the watch face, the home screen. Checking the notifications, okay. Next. 
uh, for notifications, say swipe right. Good. Okay. Tap to open. Okay, that's good. Okay, then swipe left to go back to the home screen. Okay, we have ties too. For ties, you swipe left. Okay. Um, press the home key to go to the watch face from any screen. Okay. All right, guys, that is a quick tour on how to use the Galaxy Fit 3. So pressing the side button takes you to the home screen. Okay, and let's just quick, let's take a quick tour of um, the tires we have here. These are very similar to what we have on the Galaxy Watch 6 and Galaxy Watch 5 Pro in terms of um, health tracking features. And swipe pin off from the home screen. Let's go through the apps. Okay, okay. Well, there's a camera control, remote camera control on the Galaxy F3. So, guys, that is how you can connect the Galaxy F3 to your Android phone running on Android 10.0 and above. And that is it for this video. If you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please smash that subscribe button. And of course, do not forget to turn on the notification bell to always get updates from me when I upload a video like this. Until next time, guys. Goodbye.